I have already been speaker during the tenure of three Prime Ministers, two monarchs <laughs> and one Jim Shannon. <laughs> There has never been a dull moment. I now call the leader of the DUP, Gavin Robinson. Congratulations, Mr Speaker-elect. We are thrilled to see you back in your seat. But for those new members of Parliament who have yet to understand just how this place works, some of them will learn through time that Jim Shannon needed no further encouragement. And so, whilst the reference was appreciated, no doubt, by his mother and others, um, <laughs> others, others will learn to see the, the consequences of it. <laughs> Mr Speaker, we have all uh, survived, and some of us indeed enjoyed, uh, an energetic election campaign. All of us will have experienced the odd one who approached you and said, I'm not voting for you. I had my fair share. No surprise in that. But in the Guildhall Square in Londonderry, somewhere I wouldn't expect to get too many votes, this man came up and he said, I'm not voting for you. I'm voting for Lindsay Hoyle. (laughs) He was a chorley man, and he impressed upon me the constituency grinding you have, the commitment you have to your community, the length of service you have given him and his neighbours, you and your neighbours, and he impressed upon me how fondly you are thought of within your home constituency. Yeah, yeah. And I, in turn, was able to reflect to him how you have risen within the office you hold, how over the last number of years we have seen just how important it is to have a true champion for us as backbench representatives in Parliament. You have given us that. And it was a pleasure for me to reflect to him and have the, the ability to reflect to you and the House today just how fond we are of you, the solemnity that you bring to the office you hold, but that you never lose either the steadfast or the chirpy nature of your Lancashire roots. So thank you uh, for putting yourself forward and being prepared to serve us, this House and democracy in this way. I, on behalf of my party colleagues, uh, and I trust those others representing Northern Ireland as well, wish you well and thank you for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know.